guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be getting into four DIYs to get a high-end look on a budget. So if you guys like that kind of video, then please hit the subscribe button. I make new videos like this every single week. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content and like to see DIYs. So stick around and we'll get on into the video. So the first DIY we're going to be doing is these vessels. Um, so these are very, very popular right now. I've seen these restoration hardware, pottery barn, but they are hundreds of dollars. And I'm not going to pay hundreds of dollars for a vessel. So I found these at Home Goods, but I didn't really like the color, but the shape I thought was just so pretty. We're going to see how it turns out. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is mix up our paint and our baking soda. So I'm just going to pour in a pretty generous amount of the baking soda because you want it to be kind of gritty. You want to be able to feel the grit as you're painting it on. So that's a good way to be able to know. I'm going to add in some white paint too, um, just so that it's not such a strong, harsh black, um, and a little bit of brown. Let's see how that looks. Okay, cool. Okay, now that I've got that all mixed up, I'm going to start painting it on the bottom half so I can set it down here in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to keep painting all over it um, until it's completely covered. I'm just going to paint a little bit around the top rim just because it's a wider mouth so I don't want you to be able to see the blue still on the inside. Awesome. So, done with this first coat. I don't think we're going to need to do a second coat, surprisingly. I thought it was not going to cover that well, but looks like it covered pretty well. Um, so, while this dries, I'm not going to let it dry all the way because I still want um, a little bit of tackiness to be able to rub in the dirt. But while it dries a little bit, I'm going to move on and go ahead and paint this yellow one as well. Since it's already a little bit textured, I'm having to really make sure that I get it into the little crevices that the base has. Okay, so now that these are painted, um, I'm just going to get on a glove and I literally just have dirt from my yard in a bowl and I'm just going to start rubbing it over the vessels to give it a little bit of texture and dimension and see how it works. I decided to go in with a dry brush and brush off some of the excess dirt to just finish off the look. Here are the vessels finished. I really like how they came out. I think that they have just enough of the aging on them. I think that they will be really cute styled together or even styled separately just scattered around your home. So I am very excited to style these for you guys. So the next DIY project we're going to do is um, making a pedestal that I saw um, from CB2. So basically we're just going to be taking these two bowls that I got from the Dollar Tree and gluing them together and then we're going to use a similar technique as the vessels that we just did. So we're going to mix 
some white paint with a little bit of brown just to make it not so stark and lots of baking soda so we get a good texture on it. So I'm going to um, do that, but then first I'm going to go ahead and glue the two bowls together so that they have a seamless look whenever the paint is going on it. Okay, so now our pedestal bowl is dried. Um, I think it looks pretty good, but there's still a couple of spots where the red is peeking through, especially under the rim. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on another coat of the paint mixture that we mixed up. So here is the pedestal bowl after two coats. And I'm very impressed <laughs> with how this turned out. I did not think it was gonna look this good. But I think that it looks very, very similar to the pedestal bowl from CB2. So I am really excited to style this. I think it'll look really pretty on a console table or on some built-ins or a bookshelf. So super excited to style this and think that that um, painting technique with the baking soda really gave it an awesome finish to where it's, it looks matte, it doesn't look like plastic bowls at all. Like, it looks so high-end. I'm very excited about this project. So for this next project, we're gonna be taking some inspiration from the CB2 Able Mirror, and I'll put up a picture for you guys to see but I thought this was such a cool mirror um it's be a really fun way just to put a little bit of that look into my house so I've got this little mirror um so it's gonna be obviously a smaller version because that one comes in like a 32 and a 42 inch but this will just be my own little spin on it um but to make that framed edge all the way around. We're just going to take some air dried clay um, and this one is the terracotta. You can use just whatever um, air dried clay that you can find. Um, you obviously don't want to have to oven bake it because then it would mess up your mirror. So definitely get the air dry clay. Um, so we're going to get into it. Turning my hands orange. <laughs> you just want to cover the edges of whatever mirror that you're working with. Okay, now that I've got all the pieces together, I'm going to go through and smooth out the edges with a little bit of water um, where the pieces were connecting together so that it blends more seamlessly.
All right, so we've got our textured frame um, out of clay that's dried. So we're going to go ahead and start painting it. You could, if you use this terracotta, leave it if you like that look. But to get the similar look to the able frame from CB2, I'm going to go ahead and put, put on some gold paint. This is just a metallic acrylic gold paint. All right, so now we're gonna go in to painting it with this gold. Okay, so I think this may be the fav like my favorite DIY that I've done, especially in this video. But this mirror, I'll show you guys the details, but it is just so beautiful. I think it looks very high-end and chic, but I'm super happy with how it turned out, and I'm very excited to style this. Okay, so this next DIY is going to be another CB2 find, um, and it's the double loop knot, I believe is what it's called. I'll show you guys a picture, but um, we're going to use the same clay that we used to make the picture frame, or the mirror frame, um, but one thing I do want to say is this <laughs> air dry clay in particular, this terracotta one, I do not recommend this because my hands are like stained orange. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and get into it. So you want to get out a pretty good amount of clay about like that. We're just going to start rolling it out until we've got about an inch wide rope to work with. really want to make sure that the rope is even all the way around so that it's got a nice smooth finish. Once you have your two ends, they're rough like that so they go together really well. And you can use some water to help to smooth out the lines and secure the bond. I'm also just going to take some water and go through and smooth out any bumps that are in the rope. Okay, now that it's all smooth, I'm going to take the two ends and pull them out straight. And then basically you're just going to tie a knot. So you're gonna take one end over and one end under. Pull it through. You kind of have to move it around so that you're not pulling on it because if you pull too hard, then it is going to rip. You go through and smooth out any places that might have gotten bumpy. Okay, 
Once you find a shape that you like and you've got it all smoothed out, you can move it over to a plate to dry. I propped up the edges of mine with a bowl just to help it to have a little more shape as it dried so that the ends of the loop wouldn't get droopy. So that's something that I would definitely recommend that you guys do as well. So now that we've got our loop dried, um, we're going to go ahead and put the paint on it. So to achieve that same look um, as the one from CB2, I'm just going to mix up some white paint with a little bit of brown to get more of that taupey color. So just go ahead and mix it up and then I'm going to start applying it. I'm just going to go through here and paint a thin coat over this. It looks like we're going to need two layers for sure to cover up that terracotta color. I'm just maneuvering it around so that I can reach into every little crevice so that none of that terracotta color comes peeking through. Okay, so this is it after one coat and you could definitely leave it like this. I think that the terracotta popping through actually gives it some texture and dimension, but I'm gonna go ahead and do another coat over top of it. Okay, so our loop knot is completely done drying and it is so beautiful, guys. I'm so excited with how this turned out. It just has so much texture and I think it'll just add a lot to a stack of books just a really cool sculptural element um, that gives it more of a high-end look. That wraps up the DIYs that I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you wanna see more of this, then hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications every single time that I put up a new video. I make new videos every single week on home decor, DIY home decor, and making your home look high-end on a budget. So if you wanna see more of that, then subscribe, give me a thumbs up so I know that you like this content, and I'll see you guys next time.